Hey, this is Matt from Michigan, and you're watching TJV on YouTube. Have a good one, and drive safe. Good morning, everybody. Today is the big cracking day. We're going in to the chiropractor to get my back straightened out again because I messed it up a few weeks ago. So hopefully, hopefully this will fix it. I love seeing the chiropractor. You're gonna see it. You see him too, right? Yeah, for my shoulder. I'm not too messed up, just a little bit. I'm the messed up one. Got to go all the way into Winnipeg though, so a bit of a bit of a hike. <laughs> arriving here all the way on the far end of Winnipeg but apparently this is where the best one we know is it's the only one I trust the only one that's ever cracked me that didn't hurt me there's some chiropractors that have sort of made things worse for me but a lot of them oh boy no parking here oh there's one right there busy place one right there no I'm not parking there's too small city parking lots I'm parking over here right there Look at this, no neighbors. Watch out though, somebody else is turning. Nope. No neighbors on that side. <laughs> I'm a professional parker. I know where to park where the doors won't get dinged and where no reefers will keep you up at night. If you only have one neighbor, you only got one, one person to worry about. That's true. I don't like neighbors, that's why I like the country. That's why we live where we do. <laughs> We're not fans of neighbors. We're not very neighborly. Well, we are, but I prefer not to have any at all. We love having our friends over. We just, we just like our own space. But only when we choose. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Let's get, let's get cracked. I will see you guys after. Hopefully, I'll be feeling better and not worse. Well, I feel like a new man. I can move my neck again without any stiffness. He cracked me pretty good, but my, my back, he said, was about as hard as a brick. So he did all he could. I think he cracked about four, or cracked or set them, whatever you want to call it. Ribs. Ribs. That's what he's getting at, ribs. Ribs. Now I'm hungry. Ribs. We haven't eaten much today yet. But we left the chiropractor there now, and we're here on St. Mary's Road, south of the perimeter, where apparently there are tons of greenhouses and nice trucks. We're moving here. With that truck. Yes. Wow. I'll get my truck. That's a Denali HD. Oh. Yes. Circle me all you want. Just keep doing circles. That is beautiful. Anyways, we're going to go inside, take a look around, and... Uh, someone's calling me? Someone's me. calling you. No, that's someone else. That's him. It's me. Is it you? Someone calling you? Yes. Didn't you see it pop up on my Bluetooth? Oh, that's why it sounded like it was all around us. It's hooked up to the car. You fancy person, you. Yup. Okay, let's go. Mm, they got all kinds of stuff in here. <laughs> that's cool. Nice fire pit. I like this. 
<laughs> Brit just had to go back to the car. She has prescription sunglasses on. She needs her regular glasses on so she can see what we're looking at. That would be cool. I like that. Instead of a chicken one? Very Canadian. Very. <laughs> if we didn't have this roof to put on our house this year, we could have a lot more fun. Look at all these. Oh, they got a Jets one. What do you say? Butterfly benches like at the zoo. Oh, they have those at the zoo? Yeah. Well, they have one or two at the zoo. Yeah. Maybe they got them from here? Maybe. It's very uncomfortable. Do they come with cushions? You could always make some. It's a big pot. Wow. I like that waterfall thing there. Me too, let's get it. Calathea. What is it? It's a Calathea. It's a pinstripe plant. Da, da, da. What does it do? Looks pretty. Does it do anything? But uh, your, your sister, oh my goodness, I can't English. Your cousin Sheila told me that it's actually quite finicky. Mm. This is a peace lily here. Well, I'm running out of battery on the GoPro, so. Back to the old phone. Excuse the bad microphone. The old-fashioned way. Yeah. So we were inside and uh, we weren't too thrilled or... Their selection was great. Their quality was not. Everything looked really sad. Everything looked so brown and dull and it wasn't even picked through. That's the thing. Their curb appeal is terrible too. That's got to say something. Yeah. It was probably a bad, bad time that we caught them at. Maybe. Maybe they're good some of the other time. So greenhouse... Number one, down, we have... Failure. Failure. <laughs> Three more to go. Lacoste Garden Center. I'll show you the way to grow. That was me. That was, <laughs> She's that been was singing that the whole time. That's their ad. They're, this is a much more famous location. They have a very... Uh, uh, they have ads on the radio that stick in your head for weeks. Or so. years, because I haven't heard them in years, but they're still there. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll go and check inside here and see what they got. This looks like a much bigger location. A little more curb appeal too. That other one looked a little ghetto. A little bit, yeah, compared to all the other ones in the neighborhood here for sure. Much nicer. So What's that? Beauty. Looks like lace, but it's all cement. This place is huge. Rich is very happy here. I really want to do some pastas in our flower bed up front, but I know that you got to be careful with them because they can take over. But check out this like banana yellow. That's so cool. There's like a million different kinds of pastas though. You need to choose. One. It just keeps going and going. It should almost be like Ikea. You gotta start at one end so that you see everything, so you don't have to turn around. But <laughs> I get it. I like the flavor too. Okay. Well, I couldn't stop her. You were the one that said that you wanted one of these. <laughs> Just I chose a three-dollar plant. You chose this guy. Another bromeliad. <laughs> we have one of these already—a yellow one in our living room. But this is gonna be for the bedroom. I picked this one. Why is this thing dinging we again? I don't know what we're going to name it yet. I don't know. Yeah, I picked her. Looks pretty nice. They actually grow up to 60 centimeters or two feet. Yeah. And your mom says that she's seen them up to six feet tall. It might be a different strain or something, or she might be wrong about the plant. I don't know, but that'd be pretty neat. Well, that's enough plants for you guys. I'm sure the majority of you are not really plant people, but you never know. Now we gotta go get a pot for this though. We don't yeah. need to show you that though. I'll talk to you guys when we get home. So I'm looking forward to trying these. Look delicious, it's syrup. Flavored syrup. Can't remember if I showed you them before at the greenhouse or not, but black and raspberry syrup and apple pie syrup. I'm gonna put it on ice cream, but before we sit down and relax too much, I want to 
work outside a little bit and uh, start dismantling that ugly little lean-to on the side of our garage and burn it. I want to get rid of it. It looks really ugly. It's, the roof is starting to cave in. We're not going to use it. We don't need it. I'm going to burn it. All right, we got it going. A little bit of smoke coming out from in there already. This wood is very dry. It's going to burn very quick. Hot and fast. So what we're doing over here by our garage is we're ripping down this whole lean-to thing, which is collapsing on itself. This used to be a whole big dog run here with the previous owners, and that was sort of like the indoor dog place. It wasn't uh, insulated or anything, but eh, good intentions, but it turned out pretty uh, shabby. So we're ripping it down, getting rid of it. Would have been kind of funny if he got himself trapped in there, though. I found a cookie! We got some marble and strawberry ice cream in here. Marble as well. and strawberry. Or is it strawberry marble? Strawberry marble and butterscotch. And butterscotch ice cream in here. And I'm going with the apple pie syrup. Mm -hmm. Let's open this up. Can I smell it? Oh, oh my Doesn't goodness. It smell delicious. I want everything in this house to smell like this. Can you just pour it around the house? <laughs> just like pour it on the counters. Let's smell the other one. The yeah, other one's over here. It. I don't know if I can open it with one hand. I got it. I got your back. What's that? Oh. What is it? It's black and raspberry? Blackberry and raspberry, yeah. Not as good as the apple pie, but dang it. It still smells good. Not as good as the apple pie. But we're gonna put some of this on here. Oh, 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 oh. I wanna dump the whole thing on there, but I won't. Oh, honey. Yeah? Wow. I just want some of the flavor. I don't have an insulin shot on hand for you. I just wanna put that out there. There we go. Diesel. Smell it. Don't lick it. Don't lick it. Just smell it. Doesn't that smell good? Doesn't that smell good? <laughs> Poor guy. Wow. Oh, yes. And we found this at the greenhouse. Uh, that was at Lacoste, right? Uh, Lacoste Greenhouse? Uh, no. No? That was a St. Mary. St. Mary's. That's what it was called? St. Mary's St. Greenhouse? St. Mary's something and Garden Center? Yeah. On St. Mary's Avenue, south of the perimeter, anyways. Got a whole bunch of stuff in there. This, uh, they had this in much bigger containers, too. This one was uh, $3.99. The bigger ones were $8.99, I think, or $9.99. But, oh. I don't think I even need to check in with you guys to let you guys know how this goes. <laughs> you know how this is going to go. And I need to focus, so I can't vlog this. All right, all right, all right. I'll share my first bite with you. The butterscotch ice cream. Wow. He's not faking that look, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's still going. It's still going. Still receiving the messages, sending them back and forth. It keeps just going back and forth between my mouth and my brain. Wow, that was a party. Wow. I believe you. I'm gonna try it tomorrow, maybe. When I'm in the mood for something sweet. I'm in the mood for veggies and barber sausage right now. I'm always in the mood for sugar. <laughs> wow, all right. So uh, we're gonna end the vlog on that note. 
Uh, I'll see you tomorrow unless if I enter a sugar coma. In which case, in which case I died happy. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we have plans to work out in the yard. Tomorrow we have plans to be working out in the yard, pulling a lot of the deadfall out of the bush, cutting it up. She's gonna be making a vlog as well, which will be on her channel live before this vlog was. So if you're not subscribed to her already, the link is down below in the description of every one of my videos. Go find her, it's called Brit's Beat. Uh, she, she releases her videos a little sooner than I do. Sometimes, but not Sometimes, always. not always. But we're not exactly on the same schedule, but I like it that way because that way it's sort of... Uh, we're two separate vlogs. Yeah, it's two separate vlogs and it's not like seeing the exact same thing the same day. We're not doing a storyline to coincide with each other. Yeah. So anyways, uh, go check her out. But tomorrow on this channel, we're going to be doing work outside. And then in the evening, uh, we have plans to go out. But the majority of the vlog will be here. Should be fun. We'll try to make it as interesting as possible. We got a new log splitter we're going to make good use out of tomorrow. I'll see you then. Hey everybody, the angry cannot come to you from Nova Scotia, Canada. The Angry Canuck on YouTube. You are watching TJV, Chucker Josh Vlogs.